Hello, I'm Michael Finn, and today I am going to show you a little bit of easy warm-up. Good thing to do first thing in the morning when you're getting up in the morning to kind of warm up the body, get it moving. It's also good to do before workouts or just to stimulate a bit of a little energy with breath and movement and circulation through the body. So, you know, if you really, if you had a fancy sports car like a Ferrari or something like that, you're not going to just start the thing up and take off and go zooming down the road. You want to warm the thing up a little bit. So uh, the engine runs well and everything else is going to you know, run really well. And the same kind of thing goes with your body. If, if you just jump right into things cold, um, especially as we get older, you're going to cause some extra wear and tear on joints and everything else. So really want to try to move everything and get everything going. So like I said, great to do first thing in the morning. So we want to do it with breathing. So we're going to start off with like a little marching in place, okay, where we try to think about moving the elbows more than the hands. So you want to try to pull that elbow all, all the way back there. All right, and then big breaths, big full breath all the way in, all the way out, fill everything up. As you're marching. Same kind of thing with the knees, bring those knees up nice and high so you get good circulation through the hips as well as even through the knees as you bend your knees. Good tall posture with your spine. And then how about we do a few what we call windmills with the arms up the side. We drop all the way over, touch the opposite foot, all the way over, touch the other opposite foot. Nice big exhale down, big inhale all the way up, big exhale all the way over, big inhale all the way up. Nice and smooth and steady. So, and if you need to stop a little bit, not go all the way because the back's a little tight, that's all right. But try to work slowly all the way down to where you can touch one foot, Touch the other foot, come all the way up to tall in between each touch of the feet so that that way you can even reach back with those arms so that you end up kind of stretching that chest out at the top as you're going one side and then the other side and I'll do like a good 10 to 15 of everything on each side. Just kind of figure it out for yourself as to what feels really good and what gets everything really loose. And then after those, you could do some big arm circles. Big inhale up over the top, stretching that chest out. Big exhale down around the back. Trying to make the biggest circle you can. Really try to open the chest up and open up the shoulders. You really want to try to lift that chest as you do it and extend that thoracic spine. A lot of people start getting tight in the shoulders and they're not able to bring their arms up over their head because they're so tight in the shoulders anymore. And so we really need to lubricate all that as well as, you know, that whole phrase of use it or lose it. It kind of works that way. So really need to move all the joints to keep them working properly. And then we can go forward as well with a big inhale up the back, the big exhale down around the front, big inhale up the back, and exhale down the front. few little squats we can kind of start off kind of small with your squat dropping down and then coming all the way up we can even do it with a little bit of arm movement we can big reach up big exhale coming down as long as you keep the chest up and the eyes up and then as the body gets warmed up you can sink a little bit deeper into that stretch
And squatting is a lot about putting your feet where it's comfortable for you. Some people go with a much narrower stance with their feet almost straight ahead. Other people go wider. It's more about the way that your hips are shaped and how the femur fits into the ilium. So I typically are around in this area. It feels the most comfortable. It allows me to go fairly deep. But this way we wake the knees up and the hips and the feet. And then how about we do some side stretches. With a nice big inhale, reaching over the top as well as reaching way down towards the floor so we get a good stretch down that side. And then over to the other side. Big full breaths all the way in, all the way out. Stretch that spine out with our breath. And then how about a little bit of lateral lunging because these seem to be pretty easy on the body too so if we just start in through here or we just kind of get to where we can touch the top of the knee we're doing a little lateral step waking up all of the lateral stabilizers of the body same thing with the breath It's not about going fast, it's just about moving things a little bit. It's just like idling the car. You're just kind of like idling the body by just getting a little bit of motion going. Getting circulation going through the body. And then we can go a little deeper with it, with a little deeper knee bend in through there. I like to keep the hands up here when I go a little deeper so that people keep their chest up and they don't start sinking their chest down. A lot of people will drop way down like this. It's like that's not what it's about right now. Right now it's about trying to bend those legs. Get the legs going. Wake them up. Dropping down to what's comfortable and then pushing out of that. Dropping down to what's comfortable and pushing out of that. So that you really start to wake up the muscles in the thighs, the glutes, all the other stabilizers in the hips, the external hip rotators. The calves will start to get worked a little bit too. Still breathing with big breaths in. Remember that oxygen is our primary source of energy, so you want to make sure that you bring lots of it in, especially waking yourself up, getting the body moving getting it warmed up for exercise. Let me grab a ball real fast. So, then another good thing to do is a little rotation. You can pivot that trailing foot. Big breaths all the way in, all the way out. It's nice to have a little ball in the hands. You don't have to have
have a ball in your hands, but gives you just a little bit of weight, just to allow you to move a little freer. It kind of turns everything on just a little bit more. Okay, being up nice and tall as you rotate all the way around one way and the other way. Gets lots of fluid pumping through the spine and all the discs in your spine. Gets them all warmed up and ready to go. big reach towards the ceiling and stepping out and coming all the way down to the foot and a big inhale and reach up towards the ceiling and stepping all the way down and reaching towards the foot. Now if things are a little bit tight and you need to start at the knee and go that way you can do that and then you can work your way down to the middle of the shin. So now we are bending at the waist so that we stretch everything out but the big key is you want to really reach and inhale and big exhale all the way over. I like to try to touch those fingers at the top and really try to touch the ceiling too so that you stretch out the shoulders up there. Full range of motion. One more each way. And then actually one other thing I'm going to throw in there, how about a little bit of neck rolling. Rolling that neck all the way around. Feel where those muscles might be a little tight. Going all the way around, nice and slow. And then even switching directions. Going nice and slow all the way around that way. So, great way to get the body loose, get the body warmed up a little bit, get the circulation going, get your joints lubricated a bit so that they're ready to do the activities that you want to do that day or in your workout if you're going to do this right before your workout. I recommend that you do this every day. Like I said, 10 to 15 of each. Honestly, I end up typically doing 20 to 30 a lot of times. Um, I've got a lot of scar tissue in my body and I just need to get moving get circulation, get some blood flow through there. So the more you move on a regular basis, the better your whole body will feel. So human body really needs movement. So I uh, hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much. And I hope all of you have a happy and healthy day. And I'll see you next time.